Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to use the performance monitor in the Windows Server 2016. So I have logged into the Windows Server 2016 and opened the server manager. So uh, Windows Server 2016 has the inbuilt, you know, installed feature called the performance monitor. So we can use that to monitor the server performance. So to access that, you need to go to tools and click on performance monitor. And from here, you can just click on the performance monitor. You know, this will show the uh, graph where you can see the usage. So here, the existing one, which shows the processor time. Uh, also, we can add any additional one. For example, if I want to add a new process, I can just click on the plus sign and uh, here there are different uh, category. So for example, I'm just uh, scrolling down and selecting the server just to expand it. And here we can choose the one you required. So for example, I'm just going to select the bytes total in second and click on OK. So here we can see that this is also running. And uh, here we can also change the color of this one. So for example, I'm just changing it to blue line. And there is a scale option where you can change it as well. If I click on apply, you can see that. So if I set it to 10, and it gives the better visibility. And if you wanted to remove it, you can just select it. You can highlight and click on this. And then it will be gone. And if you uncheck this, as you noticed, you don't see the monitoring. So this is about the processor information on this computer, which is Landash SVR1. And the next one, data collection set. So here you have a user defined data collection and the system one. So for example, I'm selecting the user defined and creating the new one, new data collection site. So here, uh, leave it with a default name. And uh, here you can create manually, you know, with the advanced option. And I'm just uh, creating with the, you know, create from the template. And click on next. And here we can choose the one which you would like to, you know, use. So I'll be choosing the system performance and click on next. And then it will ask you where you would like to save this data. I'm just leaving it with the default location. And here uh, create the data collector site with the user. So I'll just uh, run it with the default option and click on finish so now if i just click on this and we can see that there is a performance counter so here we can you know check which one we need to add and next if we go to reports again there is a user defined and system. So if I you know, expand the user defined, we can see that uh, the new one which we created here. Okay, so since there is no you know, kind of uh, things running, we don't see anything here. So here there is an option where you can, you know, start and stop it so once you start it you can see that uh, the output file will be stored as a text format here you can see it in the graph format 
and this is the uh, you know it's collecting data for 60 seconds and here you can you know stop this and uh, then you can start it and you can access the uh, text file also from this location So using, uh, you know, this performance monitor, it is the better way to monitor your server. And uh, when you add up any service or application and uh, you can notice the performance as well when it is going up. So here in this performance report, we can see the duration and when it collected and the computer name and the total CPU. And we can also, you know, see that same for uh, CPU, network, or disk, memory. So we can see all these, uh, you know, details from this reports. Okay, so that's it in this video and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.